Just take a listen to Joan here. Oh. Plan is there's a valley here. Uh, I had a look on photo polls the other night and there was um basically the sun's gonna light up the whole valley perfectly this morning. Uh, so I think I'll get that. Once the sun creeps a bit higher, then I can come back down to about here and I may catch it just... If you can see these mountains here, it's the, the 12 bends. Um, I may just be able to catch the sun catching them in the morning but not having the, the landscape below cut up, but we better crack on otherwise I'm going to miss it all. <laughs> so I've been shoot, trying to shoot this video for like the last maybe a week or two uh, I've had just to get the channel up and going again so I thought this is going to be like my uh I suppose not guide but what I like to do when I go shoot in Connemara so I have a set number of places that I really like to go and I thought I'd talk about them and show you some shots that I got in those places um it's a really amazing place for to live on the edge of as a as a photographer and as, as a person who loves taking landscape photography it's do with memory cards? I need to buy bloody... I've got a bloody memory card holder and it stays in one bag and I always forget to move bags with it. <coughs> well yeah, just been around hitting myself in the eye with, with camera straps. Um, just been mainly shooting some shots with this. I'll, I'll pop a few of the shots in here that I'm happy with. Uh, but yeah, success. We um well, success in the fact that we got up here for some race, um, considering I thought we were going to be way late. I jaunted around. The mountains here behind me looked spectacular. Like they, they lit up with this red glow just before and then you can just watch the sun kind of like slowly light them up. Yeah, anyway, let's get this packed up. We are at Loch Aina. So this would be like my, probably one of my favorite places to shoot in Connemara if it's like a, if I've only got like an hour or two to come um, because the road comes right along this lake the whole way. And if you get down here, and unfortunately not this morning, but this lake can be like a sheet of glass and it just perfectly reflects like the mountains in the background. I've got a couple of shots of it here, but it's just like, typifies kind of like what I would view as like why Connemara is like really really good. You've got like a huge variety in terrain and and you know mountains everywhere and these huge epic places but they're really easy to get to. So even if you're not like, I know I, I like hiking but some people like being outdoors but they don't like the whole having to get outdoors. <laughs> um, so this is like perfect as in you come you can just drive up it's about an hour outside of Galway and you can just pop up along here. I've pulled up alongside like a main national road and you have an amazing view just like this.
I liked shooting Connemara and I, I have the, loads of like regular locations that I go to now that I just keep going to because again you know if you if you shoot landscape photography everybody knows like going to the same spot in different weather conditions can provide with some drastic can provide you with some drastically different shots so why why not especially when it's on your doorstep be able to just have a few spots spots a few spots a few spots that you can just go back to straight away and you know what your setup is you know what you're going to do and you're just going to shoot it and this is one of those spots for me Oh yeah, next spot is, um, I was trying to figure, remember where we were. We're at um, Derry Clare Lake. Um, the weather is not great for photography as such, just great for standing around waiting for time lapses to work. I was hoping more clouds would come in really because they always make for a lot more, a more interesting shot. Um, but we'll see how that one turned out. I've never actually done any um, time lapses here at this uh, at this lake here before. Um, so yeah, but as I say, like this is why I love shooting in Connemara because you can get to it really easily. You can make a day of it. You can make a morning of it, um, and it's it's a great place to shoot that way. I would highly recommend if if you've got a day or two to spend, come out here. Because like I mean, I've only done the mountains today. I'm going to pop a little bit of other footage in that I took from some coastal shots and that, but like the coast is just as spectacular as well once you go around the the, the west coast path, you know, around Clifton uh, and down along Roundstone and basically through those those coastal areas, you can you could get lost for days in there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a little chill day of photography in Connemara, uh, going to some of my regular spots. Uh, my aim with this kind of series is um, to showcase what I shoot on a daily basis. I feel like I was making lots of videos about photography, but not posting any of the photography. Um, of course, you can go check out my Instagram feed. It's full of it, but I feel like there's some shots in these videos that I won't be posting to Instagram that I'm just kind of showing off here. Um, as well as I kind of wanted to showcase how accessible some of these places are. I feel like you watch all these photographers and you see these amazing views and vistas and all this stuff and they kind of put it out there that you know you can't really get there but most of well all the places I was at are reasonably accessible like uh, Derry Clare and Loch Ina you can pull up beside them in a car so anybody can go there it's easy to get there and, and it's very accessible and it's it's great if you've only got a few hours to spare and not a whole day of photography being where i live um my main a little bit more you know push it. there's a hike to get there um uh, but anybody of reasonable fitness could get there i mean anybody that even if you have time that's what i would say so that's kind of what i was do getting at there and you know I, I always say as everyone's like go to the next shot you want to get new places all the time while I think, while I agree with that, I do think that honing your skills on some places that you're very, very familiar with can be very beneficial. It also can mean that you're, you know, able to deal with situations a lot better when you are at new places. You're not always guaranteed to get the weather that you want. So if you're able to cope with uh, changing conditions or showing up somewhere and the weather and the light just being crap, then at least, you know, you may get something out of that. If it is a trip to a place that you're only going to get maybe once in your life, you know, at least then you know, hey, I got the most I could do out of that. I was prepared when I went into that situation. And that's what having regular spots at home can do for you. Um, I mean, I visit Derry Clare and Loch Ina are staples of my lazy day photography, if I if I would put it uh, at that. Um, and then, you know, with an extreme, I'll throw my main in there as well if I want to just go up and shoot some stuff and feel like an easy hike 
Um, but there's there's loads more places in Connemara. I would highly suggest getting a run out there. You drive around any corner and you're just going to want to pull off on the road anyway. Um, and then if you are that way inclined, there's loads of hiking trails and loads of amazing views around the 12 bends. I actually did Ben Lettery a couple of weeks ago. Didn't make any videos on it, but I've got some photos and stuff that I can that I've posted on my Instagram feed as well, actually. I'm just thinking that. Um, but yeah, it's great to shoot for practice when you have these little spots that you can just continuously go back onto. And as well as that, I'm just going to shout out for Connemara here. The, the landscape in Connemara is utterly fantastic. You have the mountainous terrain of like the Connemara National Park uh, with the lakes as well as, you know, right down to that rugged coastline and the plains leading to that with the, the bogs and and just everything in between. You, you get there and you'll have four seasons in one day sometimes, but that's just living in Ireland and that can be beneficial as a photographer when you go out in the morning and it's an amazing uh, flat scene and by the end of the day you're coming back covered in snow. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do more of these uh, videos, um, kind of more based on shooting a certain location over the next couple of weeks um i'm thinking of you know doing some street shots in galway city uh with lockdown being lifted in ireland now well for the county level i am going to go up to donegal and i'll be doing you know a day shooting in donegal as well on my way if you did like the video give it a little like subscribe if you want to see more because i am going to be posting regularly again i have a schedule i have a book of scripted videos that i'm doing that i've been planning out over the last couple of weeks and I am hoping you guys enjoy it. Leave a little comment below if you know any other locations in Connemara that I may not have mentioned today. If I haven't, if I haven't been there already, I'll be sure to check it out. Um, and again, thanks guys and have fun.